Welcome Digital Trailblazers. I'm Erica Gregory and welcome to the Digital Trailblazer Success Path podcast where we feature up and coming online entrepreneurs and see how they're beginning their journey and walk them through their first steps to building and growing a successful online business from the start. In today's episode, we have Tammy Vincent. Welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you so much for having me, Erica. So my name is Tammy, as you mentioned, and I live in Florida with a husband, three grown kids, a pug, and I do a conglomerate of things. So I'm a writer, speaker, author, coach, and my main business is my coaching business now. It was not always, but now it is. That's <laughs> exciting. Well, tell me the story of how it all came to be. Well, I've had other businesses. I've always kind of been your serial entrepreneur, but I realized after growing up with two alcoholic parents that I had a lot of mindset work to do, a lot of work to do on myself. And I started this healing journey of about 30 years. And in that I got certified to do all of it. I got certified to be an NLP practitioner and a hypnotherapist and EFT tapping and everything because I was like a chronic learner who did not want to try anything on me before I learned how to do it myself. Yeah. So in that, I realized as I was talking to people, they're like, why are you doing all this? And I'm like, because I'm stuck everywhere. I'm stuck in my business. I'm stuck. I've had multiple businesses and I just can't get past that point. And I don't know why. So and I what I realized, it was a lot of mindset blocks. It was a lot of money blocks. It was a lot of mm -hmm. things just from growing up in complete and total dysfunction that had really, really retrained my brain to not not let myself be successful. I mean, literally, that's what it really was. So as I'm talking to all these people and I'm wanting to help children, I was a teacher for a while, I realized how many adults were actually in the exact same position I was in 30 years ago. And mm -hmm. I thought, what better place? You know, I was tapping out a lady at the airport one day because she was afraid to fly. And my friend that was with me was like, okay, you don't know her, but you have a gift. Like you've got to help other people. You know how to do it. What, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I got started on the coaching. I kind of fell into it. Honestly, I lost a business during COVID, um, lost several hundred thousand dollars. And oh. it was totally in a different niche and different. I was in construction. It was just a big hot mess. And I thought this is the time like now it's either commit again and put another hundred thousand dollars into this business, which I really am not passionate about or do something that I am passionate about going forward. So yeah, wow. Well, that's a big, <laughs> big shift and change. But I think that's the entrepreneurial spirit that shines mm -hmm. through where you just kind of figure it out, right? Yep. Like you just pivot instead of give up. So that's awesome. So diving into all of these modalities, talk me through some of them and what they do. So I do the NLP a lot, which is literally just using words with, and ideas to kind of yes. reframe them, give things a different story, give things a different meaning so that you can get rid of some mindset blocks, get rid of some of the things that you've believed all of your life that was fed to you that is just garbage and be able to gain back confidence, gain back, you know, really emotional freedom. Because when you're beat down like that as a child, you're you're scared, you're scared to walk as yourself. You're scared to look people in the eye. You're scared to do so many different things. So I use that. Um, I use a lot of positive affirmations. I did that before I even knew it was a thing. I mean, I'm in my 50s and um, back, you know, 30 years ago, that wasn't a thing. That wasn't a thing to tell yourself that you loved yourself every day. But I realized real quickly as a teenager that nobody else was going to save me. So I started doing these things. And now, I mean, I'm loving it that we're in a world where that is the norm now. Now, self-development, self-help, self-care, self-love, it's all its all real. So I do a lot of journaling. I help people with inner child work. We do shadow work. We, we really do whatever the person needs. And it can be in business or in life because really it doesn't matter. When you're stuck, you're stuck. And yeah. it's not that you don't know, but yeah, sometimes you just don't know what you don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um, so how do you, what are some of the messaging that you're using that will attract your clients to you? Because I know that some of these modalities can get a bad rap sometimes or are very misunderstood. Um, so what's, what, what are you saying um, is working or is what, what language are you using? Honestly, I'm using not so much, are you stuck? Because nobody wakes up and goes, hey, I'm stuck. 
but it's yeah. a lot more of the, you know, are you just not feeling good about where you are in life really? And that's yeah. what it is. You know, yeah. um, a lot of it is the chronic people pleaser. They just, mm -hmm. and it's lack of confidence. It's lack of, lack of self-worth when you get right <laughs> down to the very base of yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and sometimes I'll just literally shoot something out on social media, media that will say, do you want to say no, but you don't know how? And literally yeah. people are like, yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me <laughs> all over the place. Right. Yeah. No, imagine that. I have a course for that. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Tell me some of your like proudest moments as a coach. What are some success stories from your clients? You know, one of the ones that I really like, I dealt with this lady and she was actually didn't even start as a client. Um, I was in Al-Anon with her for many, many years. For people that don't know what that is, it's for a support for the family of people that are suffering from addiction. So you could be mm -hmm. a spouse, a, a family. A child, whatever it is. Yeah. But we had been working together forever. And she was just like, you know, I don't know how you do it. You just have such a way with words and so much positivity. And you just have a way of spinning things that I understand. And I remember she called me, her name was Mary. And she called me one night and she said, Tammy, I am 74 years old. And for the first time in my entire life, I feel like I'm in control. It's my life. Wow. She's like, I truly, for the first time, feel honest to goodness, joy, like you always said mm. I could. And I was just like, oh, I know you could. <laughs> you know, I just, oh. you know, it's just, it's nice. And then I had one, you know, a good friend of mine who um, we worked together a lot, but she was afraid to fly and she's, and just different things. She was afraid of driving in the rain. And, and it's, she said to me, she's like, I don't know how you do it. You you have a way, you have a way of making the, the complicated seem so simple, but yet at the same time, no BS. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm very, I'm very straightforward. I wish someone had told me the things that I tell people 30 years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I know. Hopefully we can, yeah, change that for the next generation, right? Like using some of these different modalities and 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 keys, uh, key phrases. So, what is working in your business? How are you bringing clients into your world in terms of marketing? Yeah, you know, I can be a very honest. I struggle with technology. I'm not a tech savvy kind of person, so all of the automation and all of that stuff is where I get caught up. What I'm good at is just getting on my phone and being like, Hey, it's Tammy. Come join me yeah. for this. Like, yeah. do you know this? Do you have this? And it's just really just being out there. And mm -hmm. I resisted it for so long, but people are like, you know, every time I would do something and I would show my face, it was like my, my messages would blow up and my Facebook would blow up and people would be like, you know, what do you have? I need more. Like, can you send me that? Mm -hmm. Can you give me this? And I mean, sometimes I didn't even have stuff and just make it up. You know, I just make it yeah. up and send it to them because they just need more. But I feel like what's working is putting my face out there. Putting, Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Showing be, up, being consistent, right. Being yourself. Amen. Because I just, you know, I look at things and, you know, AI, a blessing and a curse. But mm -hmm. I know when I meet somebody that I want to talk to them the same way I read their newsletters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't I want agree. it to be two totally different people. So... <laughs> Yeah, totally. And I think I think it's a really like it's one of those things in business when you're when you need when you're looking for clients, you, they're usually right there, right? Like the there's low hanging fruit for lack of a better term where they're they're there. And if you just showed up and talked about what you're doing, they they raise their hand and they show they show interest. Um, I think what I see at least is that a lot of people do let the tech or the the funnels or all these fancy marketing terms get in the way of actually starting and actually doing. And they think that they need to have all of the, that stuff set up before they can start. And it's actually the other way around. Yes. At least that's what you're 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 seeing success that way. Yes. And and I'm a very big fan and fail gracefully and fail forward. You know, fail I forward. I've been, I've had many different businesses and I've stopped them for one reason or another, but it's yeah. always, you, you got, that's how you learn. You learn by trial and error. You learn by trying things and you learn by doing things that are uncomfortable. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's well said. You do like growth only growth happens outside of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. right? That famous phrase. <laughs> right. Exactly. Awesome. Um, so what is happening for you in the next phase of your business? What are you planning on doing next? 
So I want to, um, what I'm doing now is I'm, I do one-on-one. -on -one. I've been doing one-on-one -on -one for a little bit and I really want to bring it into more of a group community, more making a more of a community and having people feed off each other because I feel like stories are, that's what people connect to. I can write a big old long newsletter, but if I, if I get online and I tell somebody, Hey guys, guess what happened to me today? Well, guess what I learned from this? It's, it's a story. It's real. People can, you know, they love it. They, they have their own stories so people can connect back and forth. So I'm starting most of my new, I guess, platforms will be group coaching, which I love. I love the idea awesome. of it. Yep. So I'm going that route and I'm also starting to speak more, which the oh, masses, okay. the masses. So, yeah. So speaking engagements, talking in other people's audiences or in, in conferences, that type of thing. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Well, this is all really fun, interesting stuff. So tell everybody where they can find you online. Um, just come to my website, TammyVincent.com. So very okay. simple, www.TammyVincent.com. And you can reach out yeah. to me there. You can, and everything is accessible there for you. Books, everything. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing all of your wisdom with us today. It's been very, very interesting conversation. We'll have links to everything that Tammy mentioned in the description of this video. So definitely go check her out. Um, thanks again for being here. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You